Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So we're jumping back into Helldivers 2. New Warbond came out, tons of new weapons, new armor passive, new booster, new grenade that everybody's talking about. We've got a lot of stuff to cover in this video, so I'm gonna give you all the details about everything you get in the Warbond, and then I'm gonna show you all the testing that I've done so far with the various weapons, the new armor passive, as well as a new grenade, and you're gonna be able to see exactly if they're good or they're not good. I'm giving my perspective on everything. But anyways, let's jump into it. All right, so we had the cutting edge war bond here it's going to cost you a thousand super credits so not too bad um that basically is the equivalent of ten dollars or you can earn them in the game they're pretty easy to earn you can find them all over the map as well as you can buy them in some of the other uh war bonds and whatnot so anyway getting into this so we have quite a few things there's three pages similar to the previous one and one of the most notable things that everybody's been talking about so far is this las 16 sickle i'm looking forward to trying this because apparently this slaps super hard so we're gonna we're gonna be giving that shot here in just a few minutes and it's a laser gun so it has a heating mechanic similar to the other laser guns like the laser rifle and the um, uh, main weapon you can use and there is a reload mechanic from what i saw so if you overheat you reload it so that looks pretty cool and let's see so we got another booster localization confusion i still have not figured out what this does i haven't seen any gameplay of this so i'm confused <laughs> as to what this does but uh, we'll be testing that out as well here in just a minute and then we've also got here the uh, piece of armor it looks like medium armor from what i'm seeing here and it provides 98 95 percent resistance it's called the electro conduit ah that's pretty cool i mean that's gonna be great for the tesla towers as well as the arc thrower and all the other things that can kill you and teammates so maybe your teammates can run that and i'm actually kind of digging this tan uh color of this armor it's pretty freaking dope Anyway, continuing on here, so we got the grenade that everybody's been talking about. So this apparently stuns chargers and other heavy, heavily armored enemies. So it stuns everything for about three seconds. Really useful, but it's going to be hard to run this over a grenade because how are you going to close the bug holes if uh, you don't have any grenades? I don't, I don't know. I mean, outside of using a grenade launcher or something, but that's going to be cool. I can't wait to test that out. You know, got the little shotgun show emote. Again, this is medium armor from what it looks like. I don't know why we're getting double medium armor, I guess because it changes colors, but it would have been kind of cool to get some heavy armor. Same electrical conduit modifier there, as well as some super credits as well. Just like I said before, you can earn those in the war bonds. And then this gun I heard is pretty terrible. I don't quite know what to think yet because I don't got it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna grab this as well and give it a shot, but it's an explosive gun. It's also a plasma gun. That sounds pretty freaking awesome. I mean, the name is really awesome. The SG-8P Punisher Plasma. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, we'll uh, a shot. Yeah, I'm not digging this one too much. It looks very odd, and I don't know why they're doing two medium armors. So, um, and then we got this laser pistol. Um, it'd be nice to have a something different. Actually, I don't know if it's a laser pistol. It looks like a laser pistol. It's got the LAS, so I assume it's a laser pistol. Oh, it is. I don't know why I'm saying that, but it's got the beam and heat, so I guess that's the same reload mechanic as the first one. Um, so it'd be nice to have something different besides the automatic shotgun or the automatic pistol. And it looks okay right there. Super credits again. Uh, this is light armor. Okay, so they have the electrical conduit on light armor. That's pretty awesome. Looking forward to giving that a shot because I am a light armor fanatic. And yeah, it's okay looking, but you know. Better than nothing, I guess. This is the gun everybody's talking about. I cannot wait to use this. I haven't seen any gameplay of this yet, but this looks pretty freaking sweet. I can't wait to try this. It, from the few things I saw, it's awesome. It's got the same infinite ammo as the Arc Thor, so that's pretty awesome. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the this War Bond. I'm looking forward to getting some of this stuff. I'm gonna start unlocking it and then show you guys some gameplay. All right, so for the LAS-16 Sickle, this gun was actually pretty good. I've enjoyed it. It's very accurate, almost too accurate at times because you have to compensate for that because we're used to the other auto type rifles being a little bit more uh, bouncy with the recoil and whatnot, but it's super accurate. It's very awesome. The overheat happens quickly, but it also dissipates very quickly. So if you're shooting a bunch of enemies, you stop, it will decrease pretty quickly. But again, it's situational. Sometimes it's best to let it overheat and reload it so that way you can keep fighting larger packs of mobs. And yeah, in general, I, I like it. I think it's a it's finally nice to have a good automatic type weapon. And I like how it's a laser gun. It seems to do really well against the bugs. 
And yeah, I mean, so far I'm enjoying it. I'm gonna test against the robots as well, but yeah, for the most part, I'm enjoying it so far. So with the localization confusion, I'm still confused as to what this thing does, but I did notice on some of the maps when I was running it that the patrols didn't seem to aggro as much, but again, it wasn't something that was glaringly noticeable, I guess. It was a couple of moments like where I, in, in one piece of the footage you're gonna see where I was helping start the mortar thing and basically there was a patrol very close to us and they didn't really aggro on us so i guess that's what the intent of it is but anyway it, it's cool but i'm not gonna run it over something like stamina or the ammo boost whenever you're in the pods any of that stuff is I, I gotta i gotta run that stuff but i mean it was is niche i guess and pretty interesting the g23 stun grenades they worked well they they stunned the enemies as intended they stunned elites various things like that they were pretty effective if you were in a pinch and you need some crowd control but again i don't use grenades a ton unless i'm do, trying to uh, destroy the bug holes, so there's really not a real need for it. I noticed it immediately being a problem when I did the missions where I had to do that, and I missed my grenades because it was much more difficult to deal with those things because, again, you're not going to always run a grenade launcher, so you got to trade it off. So if you're going to run this, it's great, but you need to make sure you, if you're doing the bugs especially, or even doing the automatons, you got to make sure you have stuff to deal with the holes and the um, base things for the automatons. So make sure that you're running those, but it's okay. I mean, it's not the greatest thing ever. The G8P Punisher Plasma. This gun is very volatile. <laughs> it's weird because A, it doesn't operate like a shotgun, even though it says it's a shotgun. It shoots one medium-sized little shot that it has an AOE, but it also has an arc to it, so you gotta kind of angle it to a degree, and it's kind of annoying. But it does work pretty well. It has a good splash damage and does really delete smaller mobs pretty well. It does work against armored units decently. It takes about three to four shots to kill some of them. Uh, but this thing is literally unusable up close because the moment an enemy gets close to you and you shoot them on accident or one of those jumpers jumps at you, you die because it's a one-shot kill, even with the arc armor on, because I tried it with the arc armor and I died immediately uh, with it as well because I figured the conduit armor would balance it out, but it's a plasma weapon, so I guess it's not arc. But regardless, it, it's not good in the sense that it, it is very dangerous, so you have to have a good sidearm to use with it. So if you're switching weapons, you want to make sure that like you're switching to your secondary to deal with some of the up-close enemies, but again, from a distance, it's not bad. I mean, it doesn't destroy bug, bug holes or anything like that, but I imagine it would, you know, be pretty useful against the bots and everything like that, but yeah, it's okay so far. Lastly, for the electric conduit armor passive, I coincidentally got into a group that the guy was using Tesla towers, so that was cool. I stood in a Tesla tower pretty, pretty much unharmed. I mean, it took down my health about 25%. Every time I got hit by a Tesla thing and then there was a couple moments where it was hitting me when I didn't notice and I was fine. So it, it, it does what it's supposed to. But again, it's one of those things where it's niche, right? You have to be on the same page that your team is going to be running arc things to be able to justify using this armor because it's very, very niche. Um, because if nobody's running arc stuff, then there's no point running it. <laughs> so it's just one of those things. So yeah, it, 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 it works. So you're taking about, you know, 75% less damage. Even though it says 94%, you're taking about 75% less damage because you're only getting a quarter of your health chunked every time you get hit by something arc related. I didn't get a chance to test it with the arc thrower. Um, should be somebody shooting me, but at the same time, I figured it's pretty. The Tesla tower thing was basically unusable because you would die to it, you know, all the time, and it would because it has a huge area of effect. But anyways, it's pretty solid. It's not bad. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about the war bonds and all the various weapons and different things you get in here. And let me know what your experiences are so far with them as well. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.